Hello and welcome to this presentation of Hyperspace Pirates of Atira Alpha 1. This is the first version of the game that I'm going to release um, to get some feedback on. Uh, a lot of features will be stripped away in this version, so basically it will just be a, a small sandbox where you can fly around in the player's ship together with your friends, you can gather resources, um, uninstall, install components, um, and get a feel for what sort of the core loop is about. But there's no challenges, no AI, no enemies, no story, no nothing like that. Um, the idea is that I have so many features that are currently in development that I kind of need to strip the game back to zero and then one by one introduce those features, um, tweak them and make them, make them enjoyable. So we'll start with the alpha one just being this sort of basic sandbox. The reason of this video is to give you guys some sort of tutorial for how to do a lot of things, all the key bindings and all that stuff, and, and showing you what to expect from the demo, basically. So without further ado, let's go and uh, have a look. As you can see here, uh, connecting to the server um, is basically IP only, like welcome to the 90s. Um, it will take a long while until I update this and make it sort of compatible with something more fancy like Steam or anything like that. For now, you'll have to live with IP address, but let me start the server and see how that works. All right, so here we are in the game. Uh, we start with pressing escape. We get a little bit of a menu where we can change the mouse sensitivity and I can also change my name so people will know that uh, this is me. Uh, we could also turn off the debug messages uh, so I won't see that anymore. But that's pretty much it for the menu. All right, so we can start with getting this ship up to speed, uh, starting up the systems and flying it. So we're moving on down to the cockpit. We have the engineer panel, the co-pilot and the pilot seat. So we start with walking up to the engineer panel, uh, pressing E will interact is the general button for that. Um, and here we see that the engine is on, but we need to turn on the side booster and the steering thrusters. We can also turn on the cannons just for the sake of it. And that's it. So we jump back by pressing E and walk up to the pilot seat. So um, first things first, we have uh, rotating the ship around is just by looking around with the uh, with the mouse cursor. Uh, shooting is with the left mouse button, and then flying is uh, the S and D for uh, accelerating or decelerating. Uh, we can also enter sort of a vector movement mode if we hold Control, and W A S D will then move the ship um, up, down, left, or right. Uh, we also have a drift mode. Uh, in this mode, we can keep the direction the ship was having once we turn that mode on. So let's say we're flying in this direction. We press Alt. Now we can see that the move mode has changed to drift. And now we can actually turn the ship around and we're still keeping that direction. So this is for very advanced maneuvers and we can keep shooting or do whatever we want to do. Now, if I would exit the pilot seat, I'm still drifting in that direction. And sometimes you can by accident have drift on. So if I'm trying to fly forward now, the ship won't do that. Then you just have to press Alt to turn the ship's movement back to normal. Um, then we have side boosters, which I turned on. Uh, side boosters uh, are enabled by holding Alt and then press W, A, S and D buttons. And as you can see, the ship violently jumps to the corresponding vector um, and that is to avoid torpedoes or incoming projectiles uh, but probably not something you will use in this um, alpha one since there are no enemies here another thing that's good to know is that you can press the middle mouse button uh, and once you've done that you can sort of look around the ship and uh, take some nice screenshots if you'd like uh, and the final thing we can see here that the sensors have picked up a few objects. Selecting these is simply right click and we get like a distance indicator there as well. And then right click to deselect. So that's it for the pilot seat. 
now we can quickly go over the copilot seat. I have a separate video explaining all of this already, but there are a few minor changes that has happened since then. So the copilot seat has basically two things to keep keep in mind. Uh, the first thing is the ping. This is the pulse that is being sent out. It's on by default. Uh, this will find anything. This will detect any object that is within the radius of this circle. But it also increases your uh, your footprint, your radar footprint for enemy vehicles. Now we don't have any other ships in this version of the game, so it won't really matter. And then this thing, the V shape here is the passive sensors. And this, we can actually change that by clicking on these widgets here and move this thing around. Now I know, happen to know that some interesting things are over here. So we can direct it in that direction. And now we can see that some, some other objects are uh, visible here. This is probably a shipwreck of some, some kind. So that's it. If you want to know more about the copilot, then, you know, have a look at that video. Uh, it will be shown in the links below. So we've done a very brief check at the, uh, all the three main seats. Now we're going to have a look at maintaining the ship and maintaining the components. Um, repairing, it can be done in two different ways. If a component is really damaged, we can use the wrench. We walk up to the component. In this case, the uh, this is the short range radar, um, and I can't repair it with a wrench because this thing still has pretty high health. But if I walk up and get the welder, picking up objects is the E button, and then swapping between items is the numerals one, two, three on the keyboard. Uh, with this repair tool. I can uh, do advanced repairs with it basically. So, but, but to do that, I first need some ammunition or minerals. Uh, this is the resource that these, the, the welder uses to, to repair stuff. And this crate represents sort of what's in the cargo bay at the moment, it's 150 units. So if I just walk up and uh, press E several times, now I've loaded 50 units from the cargo bay onto my welder here. And now we can walk over to to the short range radar. And as you can see, ah, it already has 100% health. Let's walk over to something that has lower health. Maybe the medbay? Yeah. So this medbay um, only has 79%. So then if I hold right click, I will repair it. And as you can see, I lost some of my ammo to repair it now to full. And if your friend happened to die, uh, which is something that can happen. Uh, the med bay is really useful. You can walk up and activate it. You could also activate it through the the engineer panel. Once it's active and you have a dead crewmate, either by you know you killing him through hitting him with a wrench or him suffocating by jumping out the airlock, uh, you would have an option in this menu to revive your friend, and then he would respawn in the med bay. So don't uninstall the, uh, the med bay and eject it because then you can never save dead friends. Moving on, we have um, the fire extinguisher. Now, the, it's not likely that you will encounter fire in Alpha 1 um, since there are no events being triggered or anything like that. But if you keep hammering the ship against an asteroid and keep pounding at things, it, you know, components inside the ship will eventually break. And once they're broken, uh, there is a chance of a fire coming out. So it's a good thing to know about the fire extinguisher. And it's pretty straightforward. You just pick up the fire extinguisher, look at the fire and then hold left mouse button to, to spray it. And then eventually it will, you know, go away. Um, the player can only have three items holding up like in their hands at the same time. So right now I cannot pick up this crate of minerals. Uh, dropping items is simply G. So there we go. Now the thing is on the floor and I can walk up and pick up this crate of minerals. Now, the minerals uh, can be found, you know, if I've landed on shipwrecks or stuff like that. This is something that is not available in Alpha 1, but we have this crate here. Uh, and let's pretend I've been out on a spacewalk, found these minerals, came back, 
And then to put the minerals into the ship, I basically walk up to this crate and press the interact button. And then we can see minerals put into cargo bay. 10 units more than we had before. All right. We could also do a little brief spacewalk just to show how that works. And I'm gonna sprint over to the airlock. Uh, here we are. Uh, so currently I'm in the far left of the ship and I could look here and press cycle airlock. So this door closes and this one is opening. And here down in the corner we can see an oxygen icon showing up saying telling me that oh there is no oxygen and I have an oxygen meter that is slowly ticking down. So being out in space is something I can't be for too long. So right now I'm out here with no gravity. Uh, movement is the same. I can use W, A, S, and D buttons to go up, down, left, right. Uh, and space and control to go up and down, sorry. And then A, uh, W, S, D to, to move normally. Now, getting back into the ship can be a little bit tricky, but as you can see here, there are highlights on the handlebars on the left and right of the, the opening. I just press E and the, sh the game will kind of help you get into the airlock again. Now, let's cycle the airlock and we are back in the ship and as we can see we know we're our problem with oxygen and the oxygen meter is full in future versions of the game there are actually oxygen tanks you can bring with you to do longer spacewalks but that's not something that is a part of the alpha one one final thing to show you guys before this short demo is over is going to be the uh the drone bay. Now, there I've already made a video showing how the drone bay works and everything, but I'm gonna give you a brief update on how that works. So the drones is something uh, a separate player from the pilot can sort of launch and fly, and you'll use these to bring in components into the ship. So the way that works is that uh, I enable the drone bay, I deploy a drone, and then I can pick control drone. Now the mode will switch to this sort of uh, view where I see the drone here. Um, and to undock it, I press F3, and now the drone is undocked and flying it works exactly the same way as the player ship. So I can look around, I can roll, uh, you know, hold A, W and S to to uh, increase or decrease the thrust. Holding control will then allow the drone to strafe. And then pressing F will turn on and off the flashlight. And you can press F to turn on and off the flashlight on the player as well. If you wanna know how to haul in cargo and all that stuff, watch that other video I made before. So, that is that. Um, Thank you for watching this video. I deliberately only quickly went through everything you can do. Uh, I would like to encourage you all to get the alpha version once it's, once it's released. Uh, explore stuff for yourself together with your friends and give me any feedback you have about your experience playing that. Uh, you're, you're super welcome to join Discord. It's actually at Discord, you will have the ability to download this alpha once it is released. Um, thank you so much and keep updated uh, by joining the website at www.hyperspacethegame.com.